Welcome to this introductory session to the Tai Chi long form. We are going to do the first section of the Tai Chi Yang style long form. I'm going to um, practice the movements um, facing away from the camera. There are, are some other videos where I'm facing towards the camera and also one where you know I'm facing away from the camera without any instruction, just quiet and you can just follow along yourself. But today we're going to be doing me facing away from the camera so you can follow along and I'll guide you through each of the movements. Okay, so let's begin. So we'll begin with our opening posture, getting ourselves into a relaxed position, aligning the body. So keeping in mind the posture, the breath, and the clear or softening of the mind, getting ourselves into a relaxed position. Shoulders relaxed, knees slightly bent. And now we'll begin by lifting the left heel and stepping out. Again, relaxing, finding our comfortable uh, position here. And now we'll begin with the first movement or the first form. So inhaling, drawing the palms of the heart, chest height, leading from the wrist and then allow the fingers to um, point out forward. Now exhale, letting the wrist lead again as the palms float back down. Movement two, floating the hands like clouds, the left and the right, very subtle movement. Now we're going to movement three by holding the ball and then I'm stepping out left heel empty step, going into ward off left. I draw in the back leg to hold the ball here, put the right heel out empty step, shifting the weight, ward off right. Now, turning the body to the right, I bring the left palm in, the palms touch facing each other. Palms touch, we're going to movement four, grasp barrel tail. Push slightly forward and palms down, rolling back, pressing down and up and square off. Palms facing forward. Now, shifting the weight back, I'm pivoting the right toe in. So I face this direction here and I'm holding the ball on the right side. The top hand is like um, bird beak, you know, fingers pressed together like the beak of a bird. And now, left heel, step out, shifting the weight, single whip, this palm facing outward. Now for movement six, shifting the weight back, turning back towards well, arbitrary north. I'm turning forward here, bringing the left side of the body in. And now I drop the right arm, lift the right arm and leg, place it back down again. This is movement six, raise right arm and leg. Now to movement seven. So I'm pivoting my right toe and turning the body this direction, getting ready for putting the toe out, crossing the arms. White crane spreads its wings. Movement seven. Now, movement eight, I'm going to go into brush knee and twist step. Brush, knee, twist. And then again, brush, knee, twist. But this time I raise the back leg up and down. And then I'm raising the left and right and back down. And play the loop. So my left hand is facing like forward. And my right hand is like palm sort of diagonally facing towards the elbow of the other hand. So it's like Imagine like playing the lute or playing some instrument. Now, movement 10. I'm turning to the right, stepping out to the left for brush knee twist step again. Then I bring the back leg in to hold the ball. Again, brush knee twist. That's movement 11. Movement 12, brush knee twist to the left. Now, movement 13 is the same as nine. We're going into that play the loop movement. Brush knee, lift the back leg, 
lift the right and left, playing the lute. Now, 14, major deflect parry and punch. So turn, hold the ball again. I'm doing like a brush knee, brush left knee twist step. Now I step in, rotating the arm. So I'm holding the ball with the left hand on top and my right hand in a fist underneath. Now I'm turning out forward, opening the body with the fist down to the hip. And then I bring the left arm and leg forward in a deflect, parry, and punch as if I'm punching with the right hand. Movement 15, shifting the weight back, drawing the hand back, like I'm pressing down and out and up, like that movement we did earlier with the grass, the sparrow's tail, squaring off. Now, now I'm shifting my weight forward, getting ready for the final 16 movement in this first section. And arms loosely crossed at heart height, heart chest height, and bringing the palms down shifting the weight to the right and the left, coming back, back to our opening posture. So in the last movement there, we just did a gather. So it's like a gathering and then coming back to center. Right, there we go.